Welcome to the We Level Up Treatment Center video series. In today's video we will discuss alcoholism treatment. Alcohol use disorder. Is alcohol addictive? Why is alcohol addictive plus effective alcohol addiction treatment options? There are several names for alcoholism, such as alcohol addiction and alcohol dependency. It is now officially known as an alcohol use disorder. It happens when you drink so much alcohol that your body finally develops an addiction to it. When this occurs, alcohol takes on a major role in your life. Each technique used in alcoholism therapy for alcohol use disorder is intended to help you completely stop binge drinking. Alcoholism is characterized as an alcohol use disorder. It is a pattern of binge drinking referred to as alcoholism. The likelihood of controlling your drinking, being concerned with alcohol, and continuing to consume alcohol even when it creates problems increases if you have excessive drinking issues. When you abruptly cut back or quit drinking, you may experience alcohol withdrawal symptoms or need to drink more to achieve the same impact. Any alcohol usage that threatens your health or safety or results in other alcohol-related issues is considered unhealthy. A pattern of drinking where a man downs five or more drinks in two hours or where a woman downs at least four drinks in two hours is known as binge drinking. Significant threats to one's health and safety result from binge drinking. While some individuals may consume alcohol to the point where it becomes problematic, they are not physically dependent on it. Alcohol abuse used to be the term for this. Signs and Symptoms of Alcoholism Based on the actions and bodily effects of alcohol addiction, alcoholism signs of alcohol abuse can be seen. People who indulge in the risky behaviors listed below are more likely to exhibit symptoms of alcoholism, not eating or eating poorly. Neglecting Personal Hygiene Missing work or school because of drinking. Continuing to drink even when legal, social, or economic problems develop. Drinking alone. Drinking more to feel the effects of alcohol, having a high tolerance. Becoming violent or angry when asked about their drinking habits. Giving up important social, occupational, or recreational activities because of alcohol use. Being unable to control alcohol intake. Making excuses to drink. Patients who have severe alcoholic symptoms and need professional alcohol addiction treatment may also experience the physical symptoms listed below. Lapses in memory blacking out after a night of drinking. Alcohol cravings. Withdrawal symptoms when not drinking, including shaking, nausea, and vomiting. Illnesses, such as alcoholic ketoacidosis, includes dehydration, type symptoms, or cirrhosis. Tremors of involuntary shaking the morning after drinking. Causes of alcohol addiction. How alcohol affects your body and behavior can depend on genetic, psychological, social, and environmental variables. For instance, ideas contend that drinking differently and more strongly for some individuals can result in alcohol consumption disorder. The parts of your brain connected to pleasure, judgment, and your capacity for behavior control may no longer operate as they should under the influence of alcohol. Alcohol cravings, also known as withdrawal symptoms, may develop as a result of this in an effort to alleviate unpleasant emotions or restore positive ones. Alcohol addiction's origins are still a mystery. When you consume too much alcohol, your brain undergoes chemical changes that lead to addiction. Usually, an alcohol use disorder emerges gradually over time. There is evidence that it runs in families. After a while, the enjoyable effects of drinking fade, and the alcoholic starts drinking to stave off the effects of alcohol withdrawal. The effects of alcohol withdrawal can be unpleasant and even harmful. A professional expert team at an alcoholism treatment facility assists in determining the extent of a patient's alcohol addiction. Alcohol treatment centers have skilled medical teams to initially stabilize patients' medical conditions during alcohol detox and withdrawals. Therapy for alcohol rehabilitation may then start. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, 1, defines one standard drink as any one of these. 12 ounces, 355 milliliters, of regular beer with about 5% alcohol. 8 to 9 ounces, 237 to 266 milliliters, of malt liquor about 7% alcohol. 5 ounces, 148 milliliters, of unfortified wine with about 12% alcohol. 1.5 ounces, 44 milliliters, of 80, proof hard liquor about 40% alcohol. 
What are the risk factors for alcoholism? There are certain things you can do to lower your alcoholism risks of addiction. Adults in their 20s and 30s are more likely to develop alcohol use disorder. However, alcoholism can begin at any age. Regular binge drinking or excessive regular drinking might result in alcohol. Related issues that call for the assistance of alcohol treatment facilities. Alcoholism treatment known risk factors include more than five drinks per day at least once a week binge drinking. More than 15 drinks per week if you're male. A mental health problem, such as depression, anxiety, or schizophrenia. More than 12 drinks per week if you're female. A parent with alcohol use disorder. If you are a young adult dealing with peer pressure, a high level of stress, or low self-esteem, you may also be at a higher risk for alcohol use disorder. Additionally, living in a family or culture where alcohol use is widespread and accepted, or having a close relative with an alcohol use disorder, will raise the risk. Other reasons that influence people to seek professional alcohol therapy, according to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, include, starting at an early age, people who begin excessive drinking, family history of struggling with addiction. This may be influenced by genetic factors, depression and other mental health problems. It's common for people with mental health disorders such as anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder to have problems with alcohol or other substances. History of trauma. People with a history of emotional or other trauma are at increased risk of alcohol use disorder. Having bariatric surgery, some research studies indicate that having bariatric surgery may increase the risk of developing an alcohol use disorder. Social and cultural factors. Having friends or a close partner who drinks regularly could increase your risk of alcohol use disorder. Alcoholism. The complications you don't know about. Some people may experience stimulation as their first response to drinking. But the more you drink, the drowsier you get. Drinking too much alcohol impairs your ability to speak and move, as well as key brain regions. Even a coma or death may result from a binge drinking excessively. Alcohol, in essence, slows down your central nervous system. This is especially concerning if you're taking drugs that also have a depressant effect on brain function. About your safety. Drinking excessively can impair your judgment and decrease your guard, resulting in risky decisions and actions, such as motor vehicle accidents and other types of accidental injury, such as drowning. Relationship problems. Poor performance at work or school. Increased likelihood of committing violent crimes or being the victim of a crime. Legal problems or problems with employment or finances. Problems with other substance use. Engaging in risky, unprotected sex, or experiencing sexual abuse or date rape. Increased risk of attempted or completed suicide. About your health. Alcohol abuse can lead to a variety of health issues, including the following. Alcoholic liver disease is also called alcoholic cirrhosis. Heavy drinking can cause increased fat in the liver known as hepatic steatosis. Inflammation of the liver is known as alcoholic hepatitis. And over time, irreversible destruction and scarring of liver tissue is known as alcohol-induced cirrhosis. Digestive problems. It can interfere with the absorption of B vitamins and other nutrients. Heavy drinking can damage your pancreas or lead to inflammation of the pancreas known as pancreatitis. Heart problems. Excessive drinking can lead to high blood pressure and increases your risk of an enlarged heart, heart failure, or stroke. Diabetes complications. This is dangerous if you have diabetes and are already taking insulin to lower your blood sugar level. Sexual function and menstruation issues. Excessive drinking can cause erectile dysfunction in men. In women, it can interrupt menstruation. Eye problems. Over time. Heavy drinking can cause involuntary rapid eye movement known as nystagmus as well as weakness and paralysis of your eye muscles due to a deficiency of vitamin B, 1 thiamine. Birth defects. It may also cause fetal alcohol syndrome, resulting in giving birth to a child who has physical and developmental problems that last a lifetime. Bone damage. This bone loss can lead to thinning bones, osteoporosis, and an increased risk of fractures. Alcohol can also damage bone marrow, which makes blood cells neurological complications. 
Excessive drinking can affect your nervous system, causing numbness and pain in your hands and feet, disordered thinking, dementia, and short-term memory loss. Weakened immune system. Excessive alcohol use can make it harder for your body to resist disease, increasing your risk of various illnesses, especially pneumonia. Increased risk of cancer. Long. The term excessive alcohol use has been linked to a higher risk of many cancers, including mouth, throat, liver, esophagus, colon, and breast cancers. Medication and alcohol interactions. Drinking while taking these medications can either increase or decrease their effectiveness, or make them dangerous. That's it for today. If you like our video, please let us know. Have a great day.